Alright guys, here we are doing a, a small, a short stick flow. So you just need a four foot stick for this. If you have, if you bought the uh, 775 bundle, then you, you, you will use your five foot stick. So this is just to get the body moving uh, before you go and do your other part of your workouts, whatever, no matter what that uh, modality is that you choose to do. So from this position, we're going to start with a little wider than hip width base. Okay. So we're going to integrate feet and uh, hands. So what I want you to do is pull the, pull the floor apart and then compress the floor together. So I'll walk you through that. So we're going to start in this position. We just get the body primed. At about 40%, I'm just going to pull apart gently on the stick, activate the post to your side. But then I'm also going to take the feet and try to pull the floor away from my spine, my center line. Hold that for a few seconds. Now I'm going to compress the stick. I'm going to push in, light up the anterior aspect, and I'm going to try to pull the floor into, back in towards my center line. Hold that for a few seconds, then repeat. Pull away from your center line. I'm pulling the part, stick apart gently, and then I'm pushing in. You should start to feel all your deep hip muscles that you typically don't use. Now, the next thing we do is to try to initiate that internal external rotation. So as I pull apart on the stick this time, I want you to try to corkscrew the feet into the ground and turn the feet, the toes outward. So you should feel external rotation in the femurs. Now I'm going to compress the stick in and I'm going to go internal rotation. And I'm going to try to turn the toes inward. You're going to feel that internal rotation, back out again, external rotation, back in, internal rotation. Good. Now let's take a split stance. Okay. From this position, we're going to bring that stick up. Once again, we're going to pull apart on the stick and I'm going to rotate away from my center line. Start to get the spiral chain activated. And I gently want to lengthen the floor. So imagine that you're Hips are like scissors. You're trying to open up the scissors. Now as I come back in, I'm pressing in on the stick and I'm trying to bring the feet back together. I'm trying to close those scissors. Pull up away from your center line, opposite direction. Lengthen, open up the hips and compress and come back in. One more time, pull and compress. Pull and compress. Keep the back heel elevated. If you find that you have a hard time stabilizing on that back foot, you can take a shorter distance and keep that back heel flat. That'll give you more stability. Let's switch legs. Back heel elevated. Keep your foot perpendicular to the floor, so don't allow, allow the back heel to collapse in or flop out. We're going to pull apart on the stick. I'm trying to open up my hips, so my front foot is pushing forward, my back foot is pushing back. Compress in, pull apart, make sure you maintain breath, push in, pull apart, push in. So rule of thumb, we pull apart away from our center line, and we push in, coming back to our center line. Excellent. Okay, so now we're going to go into a wider stance, so we're going to start to get lateral movement. So do your internal external rotation to get into that wide position. Hands up. So now I'm going to shift weight. So I'm going to pull apart on the stick. I'm going to shift weight. I'm pushing through my left foot to shift my weight onto my right leg. I want my foot to stay flat on the ground. I don't want to see the foot coming up. Now I'm going to maintain that tension on the stick. Shift weight to the left hip. Shift weight to the right. Shift weight to the left. Let's go one more of each. Good. Now we're going to introduce rotation into this. So I'm going to pull apart on the stick. I'm going to shift, sink my weight to the right leg, and I'm going to turn. I'm going to compress, put, compress the stick as I come back in, pull apart, shift weight to the left, 
and turn. Compress, one more of each, pull, turn, maintain breath, push back in, and one more to the other. Left hip, and compress. Internal, external rotation back to standing position. Now we're going to add in dislocates, pull apart on the stick, about 40%, elevate up, maintain structure, keep the butt squeezed, abs tight, do not let the spine start to move and give you that false sense of mobility. As we get down to the, we're still pulling, as we get down to the bottom, we then compress in on the stick. Pull apart, maintain breath, no crane in the neck, Pull apart, as we get to the bottom, we can press in. One more, pull apart, maintain, make sure all five digits are in contact with the stick, so we don't wanna see the pinkies flying off. And compress in. Okay, let's go back to that split stance, and we're gonna add that dislocate into the split stance position. Hands up. So we're going to pull apart on the stick. We're going to turn and rotate into our front leg. Once we have that rotation is done, we then introduce the dislocate. And as you get to the bottom, we can press the stick and come back to center. Pull apart on the stick, rotate the opposite direction. Maintain that rotation. If you start to bring your arms up, and you, far, and you start to see that you're losing that rotation, then that's as far as you go. We want to maintain that position. We want to make sure that we have control of that. Once again, pull, rotate, maintain breath, keep your arms straight, make sure that this front leg's not flopping around, push, one more in the opposite direction, pull, Push, excellent, switch legs, left foot back, back heel stays perpendicular to the floor, pull apart on the stick, rotate into your front leg. Once you have that rotation done, elevate up, push, pull apart. Push, one more to each side. Pull, you'll start to feel which leg has a little bit harder time keeping you upright and stable. Push, one more the opposite way. Pull, push, excellent. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to go from a staggered stance, crouching position, all the way up into full extension, and then we're going to bring a little bit of rotation into that. So let's take about a hip width stance. We're going to slide that right foot back. It's what we call your heel toe line. So if we place the back toe in behind the heel, just slide it out about hip width apart. So we're going to go down to our back leg side. The stick should be down by your right calf right now. From this position, we're going to pull apart on the stick. We're going to come up. And as we come up, we're going to turn. You should be looking up over your left shoulder. As you come down, we're going to compress in on the stick. One more time. Pull. Come up. Look up over that left shoulder. And push in on the way down. Let's go one more. Pull, and push. Switch feet, find your heel toe line, come out to hip width apart, crouch down, stick should be right next to your left calf, 
pull apart on the stick, elevate up, look up over the right shoulder, push in on the stick on the way down, two more, pull, maintain breath, push, back heel stays elevated, pull, push, and relax. So that's a nice little short 10 minute, 11 minute uh, short stick flow. Now you should be well warmed up and ready to move. So get out there and have fun.